Say, spell, name, and where are you from? Kelly Johnson, K-E-L-L-Y-J-O-H-N-S-O-N, -L -L Omaha, Nebraska. Would a woman as vice president compel you to vote for a presidential candidate? I don't know if it would compel me to vote for a presidential candidate, but I, I would definitely examine the vice presidential candidate and the reasons for the candidate choosing uh, the woman that he chose. What would a female vice president mean to you? Well, mean to me, um, I suppose that a female vice president would uh, would would mean that the doors are opening, the glass ceiling is maybe getting higher or possibly breaking. I mean, there would definitely it would definitely indicate that there's potentially a change or less barriers for women uh, getting into places of uh, leadership and um, the public side, but uh, just just the simple fact that she's a woman wouldn't really have much meaning for me. Has your experience of coronavirus impacted who you might vote for? Um, yes and no. My experience of the coronavirus has partially impacted who I might vote for, in but mostly no. Um, I was already well decided against a particular person and uh, the, the coronavirus um, debacle has only strengthened that resolve, uh, but, it, but the coronavirus has not sort of scared up an alternative good candidate or made me look more closely at another candidate, just, uh, just has distanced me further from a potential candidate. Are there any issues you encountered like sourcing childcare that you think men did not have to concern themselves with? Statistically, sure. Um, not just childcare though, uh, actual educational, uh, doing, doing the homeschooling part of um, having kids home. Uh, they do need guidance a lot more than they needed when they were in school. And uh, I, I really think, at least in, in my experience and for those, of those who I know who have kids at home, that is largely left up to mom. Uh, as far as figuring out child care, uh, I think probably parents, you know, make those decisions somewhat together. And if both are working, then both have to consider that pretty heavily. Um, um, as far as who's going to sacrifice and stay home if the children have to stay home, I, I really think we have yet to see whether that's going to impact women more than men. Okay, thank you. Okay, say your name and spell it. The whole name? Spell your name, yeah. Your name and spell it. Okay, Cindy King. C-I-N-D-Y. K-I-N-G. And where are you from? Omaha, Nebraska. Would a woman as a vice president compel you to vote for a presidential candidate? Yes. What would a female vice president mean to you? It would mean that women are moving up in uh, in high places, in other words. Has your experience of coronavirus impacted who you might vote for? Uh, yes and no. I mean, yes, I guess, would be more uh, the answer. Are, are there any issues you encountered that you think men did not have to concern themselves with? When? Throughout my lifetime? I don't know. During any time, I guess. I don't know. It, it gives an example of, like, child care. Uh, uh, you don't have any children, so I don't know. Well, can you repeat the question All one right. more time? <laughs> Are there any issues you encountered 
that you think men did not have to concern themselves with? Well, I mean, I think they wouldn't concern themselves about the child care, about, um, uh, gosh, I don't know, you got me off guard here. Um, well, men don't have to concern themselves with much of anything when it comes to home life. Uh, you know, other, you know, the woman works and so does the husband, but usually it's the woman who comes home and does the basic, um, uh, in other words, her work is never done. She comes home and does laundry and the cleaning and the taking care of the kids and so yeah I mean okay. that's it that's all we have well that's all we have name name Gabrielle Ohm G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E -E, and the last name is O-E-H-M as in Mary keep going I'm a registered nurse at Nebraska Methodist Hospital and where are you from I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. I grew up uh, partially in this house. What would a woman as a vice president, no, what a woman as a vice president could tell you to vote for political candidates? I think it might compel me a little bit more, yeah. What would a female vice president mean to you? Different points of view. They might look into better health care. Um, just, just, it'd be nice to have a breath of fresh air in, instead of just mainly males. It'd just be nice. Has your experience of coronavirus impacted who you might vote for? A little bit, yeah. And how? Which way? I feel like if a female, um, they would actually look into hazard pay for us healthcare workers that have actually had to work all throughout the coronavirus. They would um, try to maybe just actually listen to the CDC a little bit more. Um, I feel like a lot of people didn't take it seriously because Trump didn't take it seriously. Um, it's actually, especially from frontline workers, it, it's serious. It's a lot more serious than people take it out to be so are there any issues you encountered that you think men did not have to concern themselves with mainly female re reproductive rights and a lot of the coronavirus like they're getting a little too lax with it lately and that's why we have a huge sore in it lately and I feel like they should have slowly reopened things I think um, there's a lot of things actually in other states that aren't even opening till September so I feel like we should have slowly and came with a better plan for schools and like how people are going to do the schooling because um, a lot of parents especially like nurses that have children they can't do the three two system because if they do three in a row how who's going to be able to pick up their kids from school and who what about child care they what if their husband works too like that's not fair for them for working families that's good it's not fun fun at all uh, say your name and spell your name and where you're from Rona from Omaha, Nebraska, R O N A. Would a woman as a vice president compel you to vote for a presidential candidate? It would, it would be like one of the most wonderful things at all. If it can't be President Obama, I would, I, if, if he had a, a female running mate, I think it'd be awesome. It's the thing that should be done. What would a female vice president mean to you? Uh, it'd mean that there's actually someone that believes in women is as equal as men. Has your experience of coronavirus impacted who you might vote for? No. Are there any issues you encountered that you think men did not have to concern themselves with? Uh, yes. Uh, one is I don't think they should concern themselves with uh, abortions. I think that that's something that should be the person, not a man. Not a man for sure. Okay. That's it. There we go.